Injury concerns surrounding Packers' new star acquisition are exaggerated asterisk asterisk. Josh Jacobs' hamstring issue shouldn't be a major concern for Green Bay Packers fans. While the NFL's year-round coverage is enjoyable, it often leads to unnecessary anxiety among supporters. Jacobs is anticipated to be a key component in the Packers' offense. The team upgraded from a certain running back who left to join a division rival, and Jacobs brings a significant $5.3 million cap hit for 2024. So, when Jacobs sustained a hamstring injury early in OTAs, it understandably caused some fans to worry. However, it's time to relax. To begin with, in the context of OTAs, Jacobs is expected to recover quickly and not miss much time. Packers fans, stop stressing over Josh Jacobs' injury even if Jacobs were sidelined longer than expected, is it worth getting upset over a player missing a couple of weeks of OTAs, especially a running back? Running back is arguably the one position where a player can quickly adapt and perform without needing extensive time to build chemistry with teammates. This situation is different from a star quarterback missing crucial time to sync with his receivers. Moreover, how much chemistry is really developed during a few weeks of light practices? If Jacobs were holding out, that would be concerning. If this were training camp in August, or if he required surgery, it would be a different story. But this is a minor muscle strain in May. You or I could pull a hamstring now and be fully recovered by August. Additionally, Jacobs doesn't have a history of hamstring problems that would make this a significant concern. Over his five-year NFL career, he has only missed 10 games, which is impressive for a running back with a heavy workload, and none of those absences were due to a hamstring injury. It's understandable that fans are excited about Jacobs. When you get a new car, you worry about every potential scratch or dent. This minor injury might actually serve as a relief. Once Jacobs is fully recovered in a couple of weeks, it will be clear that there's no need to stress over every little update. The Packers still have strong odds to win the NFC this season, ranked in the top 5 on FanDuel Sportsbook at plus 850. A running back needing a few recovery days in May isn't going to affect those odds significantly. While it's enjoyable to follow NFL storylines throughout the offseason, if you're overly concerned about Jacob's hamstring issue, you might be taking OTAs too seriously. For more updates and analysis on the Green Bay Packers.